bought a silhouette. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay, I got all 18 cups done. I got a whole bunch of mugs done. And hardships that you go through with a business. Hey guys, and welcome back to another studio vlog. I am about to get started on opening up something cool. I'm so excited and I still have a little bit of learning to do about it, but yesterday I had the worst day I think I've had in a very long time. I probably cried for the whole day and I was struggling with every task possible and then my cricket decided to act up and she always acts up. She always has like a little bit of behavioral issues, but she was acting up too much. Cutting through all of the stickers where they weren't supposed to, not cutting through certain parts so that I couldn't actually take the sticker out. I changed the blade settings. I changed my blade. I cleaned my blade. I like changed the cut settings. I made it cut once. I made it cut twice. I even tried fast mode. I tried regular mode. I tried like 80 different cutting profiles. Nothing worked. I even tried two different types of sticker paper. I have my online label sticker paper and then I have like a sticker paper that I just bought from Amazon. So I tried both and it still wasn't working. So I made an impulse buy this morning. I went to Michael's to return something and I just was browsing around, you know, as one does in Michael's. And I originally went to get another frame for Punch Needle, but I'll actually tell you more about that after. But that's what I went to do because mine is getting a little bit crusty because of all the staples. You have to rebuy every so often. Anyway, that's not the point. So then I went, made it over to like the Cricut section. And then I was like, hmm, let me go down this aisle that I usually never go down. It's the silhouette aisle. So I bought a silhouette. I'll show you. Or I don't think it's called silhouette. I think it's called cameo. So here it is. I bought it. I bought the cameo four. I think there's a new one like cameo five, but I didn't see it. So I just bought this one. I got it in white because you know, the vibes, the aesthetic here, we need to keep it. And it's all white, which is better than my blue cricket. And I'm just mad at my cricket machine. So I'm going to slander her because she deserves it. Really. She's been giving me a hard time. So I'm so excited to try this out. I am going to be learning how to use this today. I have quite a few orders to finish before I take my two weeks off and I do have punch needle to finish this week so I'm gonna learn this because I really want to I'm excited to see if this is a better option for me and I'm gonna take you guys through the process of me learning it I think the cameo is more expensive than a Cricut but I honestly have no idea this was on sale it was like $20 off not that much but I mean it's better than zero and so I just picked it up I was like you know what's on sale my Cricut machine is giving me a headache so I might as well just get this one and see how it works so without further ado let's go I'm going to unbox this for my Instagram I'm gonna post a reel about switching from Cricut to silhouette because this is literally a monumental switch for me like I am breaking up with Cricut and I'm moving on to something better hopefully so I'm gonna do like ASMR unboxing and then I'm going to pop back on here and we are going to see how this cuts, prints and everything. And also this doesn't need like a, a mat to do vinyl. I think like you can just like put the roll. I know like the new Cricut has that too, but I'm not buying a new Cricut. So I like that feature. Not that I use vinyl a lot because I use like UVDTF, blah, 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 but I do like that feature. So maybe I'm gonna use vinyl more. I don't know. I just really needed some good news. I'm so excited. I hope it works. Let me stop talking and let's get on with the vibes here. Ew, it's dusty. Okay, so put my hair up because it's very difficult to stay concentrated when my hair is flying all over the place. But I just set it up, I plugged her in and I put the cutting blade inside.
doing the same as I would if I was making my stickers on a Cricut. I'm going to be putting the Avery laminate. I always laminate my stickers. I have been ever since I started my business. So I'm going to put it on so that this will be the thickness that I need to figure out the cut settings for. I'm going to place this on and then apparently you can do like test cuts just to see which will um, be the perfect cut settings. And then I'll print a new sheet and we'll print the a full sheet of stickers. So this is just going to be a test print sticker sheet. Okay, let's do this. Doing this gives me PTSD from yesterday because I was trying to make like 150 stickers for an order and it actually took me all day because I had to cut so many of the stickers by hand. And this is just to show you how small businesses really aren't perfect all the time. And I know like me filming like my weeks and being so busy and getting orders done and just being so productive is really fun to watch, but that is not how it is every single day. Uh, in fact, it's not how it is like 50% of the time. Like it's a lot of like trial and error, getting things wrong, spending a lot of money on things and then it being wrong. So yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit of the like downsides and hardships that you go through with a business. Like I just spent like $400 on a new cutting machine and I know not everybody can afford to do that but I am very fortunate that I'm able to do that but it's just things happen and you got to work through it and figure out new options anyway I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm going to set this up on the mat and we're gonna load it up and see how this works I read online and I've watched videos that say to hide the black border so you're gonna see my face for a second okay okay so now it's on the mat like this, I am going to attempt to load it in the machine. It's a little bit different than loading it into a Cricut. Okay, so you load it up here and then I think you press load. Okay, it's loaded. <laughs> it goes so fast. Oh my God, it looks like an alien machine. Okay, so let's... Okay, okay, I'm scared. So we unload it. Whoa, Jesus, it like shoots out. Okay, so that didn't quite do it. Okay, so first things first is we definitely need to calibrate this because <laughs> it's like way off. I'm gonna take the stickers off and I'm gonna show you. Um, so we're gonna calibrate this thing. I don't even know how the heck to do it, so I have to Google it. Okay guys, it's literally like two and a half hours later. This has been <laughs> so stressful figuring out a whole new system but after like 80 sheets just kidding not 80 sheets like maybe like seven i have finally figured it out i had a trouble a trouble i had trouble with it not cutting correctly and then i had to calibrate it and it's totally different from cricut then i had it cut like twice around the sticker by accident and oh my goodness okay so i figured it out and here she is a sticker perfectly cut and no stress. Well, stress today because I'm learning it, but <laughs> cute. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm probably going to work on some computer stuff. I have to plan out some videos that I plan to film next week for December. And I also want to film some more content this week so I could upload this studio vlog. I am really excited for the next video that's coming. Um, I have wanted to do like a monthly reset type of like series on the channel here so that is what I'm planning and it's gonna be like a December reset video okay so I am going to be gluing these coasters these ones are for a wholesale order but I don't have the transfers for all of the cups yet I just I'm waiting them I'm waiting on them to come in the mail so these I'll glue and then they'll go out another day <laughs>
Okay guys, so it is now 12.56. I packaged up a bunch of orders. They're over there. I don't know, you probably can't see because my chair's gone. So I'm going to drop them off. I'm gonna grab something to eat. I really am craving like a burrito. So I think that's what I'm gonna grab. It's just actually right by my house, so it's perfect. And it's also in the same plaza as the Canada Post. So perfecto. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna eat my lunch. And then I'm going to get started on printing out all of the mug sublimation sheets and hopefully I'll get them all taped on all the mugs uh, by the end of today. And then while those are printing, I'm going to get started on stickers. And actually we have good news. Amazon has been super speedy and I got my light grip mats. These are actually like cricket mats, I think, or they look like cricket mats. So this is like a total brand that I've never used before. We're gonna see how well it works. And yeah, otherwise I'm just gonna use the mat that I already have and we're gonna have to deal with it. probably hear the printer that's going on right underneath this table but I wanted to show you guys the stickers and how they turned out so I'm going to peel them off I'm gonna angle the camera down so you can see me peel it off but if this peels off like butter I'm actually gonna have to run around my house and scream like a chicken with their head cut off because I'm gonna be so happy. This is the first day that I'm actually like making stickers for orders and like getting into the groove of things. First of all, so easy to set up my print file. I have to reset up all of my print files now on the new like design software because I like I normally format all my stickers on Cricut and then save them to my Cricut account but because this is a totally new software I have to do them all again so I think you can see this probably isn't the best angle but I'm using the mini tripod so <sighs> I'm scared let's see oh no oh no 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 <laughs> okay we have a little bit of an oopsie here I don't know why we have an oopsie Oh no, what is happening? Oh my God, it, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not what was supposed to happen. Oh my God. What the heck, the stickers are like sticking. I think the mat is too sticky, to be honest. Here is the sticker that I just made. Again, don't worry about the pieces of paper on the outside. That's literally my fault for not unsticking the mat. But anyway, so this is the sticker. If you can see the cut lines, they're very, very, very smooth besides the paper like on the outside. Like if the paper wasn't there, it would be smooth. Okay, so this is perfectly cut. Like there's no alignment issues. There's no nothing like this is a perfect sticker. Okay, let me show you the other one. This is what Cricut does to my stickers. And this is what it was doing yesterday. Do you see? I don't know if it's gonna focus. Like it's not supposed to cut into the design like that. It's supposed to just cut right underneath and like it literally cut off the design. So if I rip this off, this is what it cut into. I'm really happy with the way that the silhouette cuts. It cuts these little corners here, like these types of, oh my God, you can't even see. Like this type of corner very well, whereas Cricut does not. It does not like pointy stuff. At least my Cricut didn't like pointy stuff. And mine's not even that old. It's like a year and a half old that I got it like a year and a half ago. Oh, and another pro, maybe I'll make like a whole video about this machine because I've learned so much in two days about this thing. It has the ability to make the print area bigger. That is all I've ever wanted from Cricut is to print on the entire sheet of paper. Like I don't understand why that is so difficult or why like okay I'm not like a technological engineer or anything like that making these machines but it really can't be that hard to allow us to print on the whole sheet of paper and use it in the machine. It can literally cut up to 12 by 12 vinyl and stuff like that and like it has the capabilities to cut bigger pieces of paper like so why can't I print and cut on the whole sheet of paper? We're just wasting paper at this point. But now I can fit so many stickers on each paper, on each sheet of paper. Just, there's so many pros about this machine. I'm so excited to continue to use it. And 
yeah okay i'm gonna go and make stickers now because it's 2 30 and i want to finish work by like the time my brother gets home from school uh so let's get to making stickers with my cameo hi guys it is friday and i'm just quickly popping on to tell you guys what i'm going to be showing you guys in the next couple of clips i am currently frantically rushing it is 3 15 and i need to leave my house no later than like 4 30. i am trying to tag and get the packaging ready for all of my stock that is going to the nooks in bowmanville so i am trying to get these stuff tagged and prepped and in a bin and ready to go which is taking me a long time because the notepads and the coffee sleeves both need extra packaging and the notepads i have to cut fold and glue like the little belly strip on so i am literally working at super speed i'm probably going to set the camera up and just have it in speed mode of what i'm doing here but i've gotten out all of the stock that i'm going to be sending some of the overstock as well that i'm going to keep in a bin so that is what i'm doing right now i have tagged them with these mini labels let me find them because i have no idea where they are okay right here oh my god i'm like spinning around so this is what i've tagged them as I have a skew code and everything. Oh my god, my eyes in there. Um, yeah, so I tag them like this, and I have to do that to like every product. So I probably have to tag about 300 products with the little labels. So I have these like mini labels right here that I got from Amazon, and that's what I'm doing. I'm printing out the belly strips in the printer right now, and then I'm gonna print out the coffee sleeve tags. I'm only going with a little bit of stock to see how well each product does in the beginning, and then when I'm due for another restock, I'm going to be bringing in wristlets and doing a restock on products that have sold and if I haven't sold any I'm probably gonna take them away but for wrist sets I need to get more fabric and that won't be till like January so smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe tell me one thing is there anything that you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do Okay guys, so it is 8.25 now. I got back from the nooks. I set up my booth. I'll put some pictures on the screen here so you can see I am in love with how my booth turned out. I'm so excited to see how well my products do in a boutique. This is not the first time that I've had my stuff in a brick and mortar store before, but right now I think I'm gonna have a late night work sesh. I have to pick up my boyfriend from work at 12 30 so i'm going to be working until then i'll probably stop a little bit earlier to take a shower and like kind of get all cozy for bed but until then i'm going to be pressing mugs and making stickers i want to get started on 
a couple of wholesale orders that I need to get out on Monday. And one of the orders has punching dough, which I've already finished. So I just need to do the mugs, stickers, and bookmarks. And then I am set for those orders. I'm going to see how much I can get done tonight. Ideally, I would like to press all the mugs and maybe get started on some stickers. But we'll see how far we get. And then I'll probably close off the video once we're done for the night. So enjoy the rest of this vlog. I don't know how much more I'm going to film, but I'm going to get started on these mugs. And I'll see you guys when I see you. We will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you It's a magical time full of kisses Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose Moving nimbly Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Okay, I got all 18 cups done and I got a whole bunch of mugs done today. I pressed all of these and taped them all on today. Or tonight, rather, actually. I look crazy and I'm so tired and I don't want to shout because people are sleeping, but I am done for the day. I got pretty much like a lot of stuff done this week, even though I did take like a day-ish kind of sort of off. I was still like working, but I was learning how to use a silhouette. I love it so far. I made stickers with it yesterday and the cuts are perfect. Like it's so easy to use. I love that you can change like so many different cut pressure so many different cut pressure so many different like cut settings like the speed the depth of the blade how like, strong the pressure is i love the software like i am loving everything about it so far it's just really freaking loud it sounds like an alien so it's kind of scary but i love it so far and i got a lot of stuff done i'm excited to get back to work on monday and package up these orders and make the stickers and the bookmarks i am very happy with the amount of work that i did this week i hope you enjoyed spending the week with me and my small business and trying out a new machine and let me know down below if you have a small business and a cricut and are thinking of switching to a silhouette machine but if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and do all those fun youtube things and i will see you all next week bye